This short video documentation features Thomas Spiegelhalter's keynote lecture on exploring challenges and best practices of generative AI and topological design optimizations in mechanical, industrial, structural, and architectural fields. The keynote presentation took place at the Sixth World Conference on Mechanical Engineering held in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, from the 24th to the 25th of June, 2023. The hosting organization is Stackinf, a transcending forum for science, technology, and engineering conferences. Enjoy the selection. Colleague is on post parametric automation in design and construction, which of, of course fits very well in, into this topic of, of the keynote. And uh, let me go just into some theory to uh, set the baseline, which is very important here, so we can communicate better in our dialogue in this uh, keynote. Done when we talk about, for example, Autodesk in a process that happens in the cloud. With with evolutionary algorithms, some people say AI. First laser-based powder bed. The diagram presents a chronology of the entry of several firms into the 3D printing market, specifically showcasing the advancements in additive manufacturing techniques over the years. 1994, the journey begins with the first metal 3D printer by a company called EOS. 1998, we see the introduction of laser-engineered net shaping by Optimec. 1999, binder jetting is introduced by a company named Exxon. 2001, the technology landscape sees two notable additions. Laser Cushing by Concept Laser. First laser-based powder bed fusion process by Fockel & Schwartz, which eventually becomes SLM Solutions. 2002, electron beam melting enters the market through Arkham. 2003, MTT Technologies, now known as Renishaw, introduces laser melting. 2005, Trump steps into the arena with laser metal fusion. 2006, another variation of laser metal fusion is launched by Adup Solutions. 2007, Trump discontinues its metal printing. 2011, a significant advancement in the form of hybrid metal laser sintering with CNC milling was launched by Matsuura. 2013, 3D Systems makes a mark with direct metal printing. 2017, Desktop Metal releases the world's first office-friendly metal printer. The entire timeline serves as a testament to the rapid evolution of 3D printing and AM technologies. Different companies have pioneered various techniques, marking significant milestones in the world of additive manufacturing. The diagram is sourced from innovations in additive manufacturing authored by M. Kahn and J. T. W. Japs, published under Springer Tracks in Additive Manufacturing. Welcome to the future of design and manufacturing. Picture this, a world where you can design the perfect solution without executing a single manual CAD operation. A world where, instead of just one design, you can instantly evaluate hundreds of optimal possibilities. Before you, you see the pinnacle of this vision, the Hack Rod Project. This isn't just any vehicle, its framework boasts a mesmerizing mesh-like structure with hundreds of ubiquitous sensors that feed structural load dynamics into the generative master file for continued data-driven optimization. Every component, node curve and joint is meticulously optimized, possibly balancing between strength, weight, speed and other critical factors. But how do we get here? The journey starts by defining the goals and constraints. We then generate a myriad of design possibilities. And finally, we explore, diving deep into these designs, refining and selecting the optimal ones. Leading this revolution is Autodesk. With their cutting edge tools and research, they are reshaping the design landscape. 
One such visionary from Autodesk is Morgan Fabian. As the research manager at Autodesk's Pier 9 facility, he's at the forefront of bringing generative design to life. So, buckle up and get ready. With generative design, the future of manufacturing and automotive design is now. The next generative design project shows the first prize won by Thomas Spiegelhalter in the renowned International S.Arch 2023 award for the Small Projects Competition. It is an AIML generatively designed and topologically optimized hybrid robot 3D WAAM printed 50 meters long steel bridge realization project in Germany. The project was presented at the 10th International Conference on Architecture and Built Environment with Architecture Awards held in Berlin on April 4, 2023. The S.Arch Award jury panel consisted of 20 members, including renowned architects such as Toyo Ito, So Fujimoto, Kengo Kuma from Japan, Vivian Lee from Richard Meyer Partners in the USA, Viviana Macetla from Zaha Hadid Architects, Philip Rahm from France, Lars Kruckberg from Graft in Germany, Jito Sugianto from Singapore, and Robert Greenwood from Snoheda. The exploration and then the adjustment and validation process. Now, it's important that in generative design, there are, one has to set, set, uh, create a geometry which has constraints and offsets. So the constraints and the offsets and the so-called preserved geometry is a certain Thank <laughs> you. 
Coming up, we delve into a captivating project focusing on generative AI Symbio for blue-green infrastructure workflows. Presented at the AIA Miami exhibition located in the heart of downtown Miami in 2021, this initiative was spearheaded by Thomas Spiegelhalter and his dedicated team from the FIU Carbon Positive Research Design Studio. Drawing inspiration from the vibrant cityscape of Miami, the project centers around creating a generative, data-driven AI and machine learning blueprint for carbon-neutral urban planning. The goal? To design a comprehensive tool for integrated decision-making using the innovative ULL approach. Starting with a robust data and mapping baseline tailored to Miami's unique requirements, the team aims to craft the tool and framework that will be pivotal in analyzing data-driven models. This will be achieved by evaluating various carbon-neutral and resilient scenarios projected from the present day up to the year 2100. But Miami isn't the only place where this groundbreaking work has been showcased. Back in 2021, a similar exhibition was unveiled at the Venice Architecture Biennale in Italy. And, for those heading to Venice in 2023, you can witness this project firsthand at the Palazzo Bembo during the Venice Architecture Biennale. 2021. Greater Miami is one of the most climate vulnerable regions on planet Earth. In the coming decades, the low-lying areas of Miami are set to be swallowed by sea level rise combined with increased yearly threats of pollution, hurricanes, king tides, tropical storm surges, outdated sewer leakages, runoffs, and increased heat waves.